Sometimes they spew dusty ash into the air. If it gets in your lungs and stuff, you don't really know what it is. It's pretty concerning with kids, though, you know. <laughs> this modern windmill relies on the most primitive of elements, the sun, the wind, and the sky. The sky stream is made by a company called Southwest Wind Power in Flagstaff, Arizona. The company worked with the U.S. Department of Energy to make the first of its kind of backyard sized wind turbine. It's good for homeowners oh, 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 no. to property and zoning that allows structures more than 42 feet tall. The sky stream is expensive, but it can also be a money saver. Our land is going to be in the winter, and it's not going to be as great in the uh, heat of the summer. Uh, but since it's a great tax system, you're not relying on the wind by itself. And so when you are producing, you're getting a full credit. The Thebras also save money by using compact fluorescent light bulbs which draw 25% of the electricity used by regular bulbs. They're the first family in Southeast Michigan to have a hookup like this. And as you can see, it's made them pretty popular with their neighbors. I think it's fantastic, and we're going to get one. This wind is in the pocket when that light goes out. The alternative fuel and alternative power is uh, it's the way of the future. It's a trend. It's, um, it's healthy, it has long-term rewards, it's got immediate rewards. Jason Faber is an electrician by trade, but he believes in this technology so much, he started his own alternative energy business about a year ago. Several states, including California, Texas, Pennsylvania, and Nevada, offer tax incentives for people who invest in wind or solar-powered systems. With the Fox Energy Report, I'm Robin Schwartz. Charges and save his seat. What are you doing? His ability to get earmarks has not are you been being diminished. silly over the there? Newspaper report Stevens secured the most earmarks in the Senate Defense account? Appropriations Bill, about two hundred and fifteen million dollars worth. The longest serving Republican senator has pleaded not guilty to charges of failing to disclose gifts from an oil services company. His trial begins next week. Stevens is hoping to clear his name before he faces Anchorage Mayor Mark Baggage in the November election. Some Democratic lawmakers are taking Republicans to task for the current economic climate, saying the repeal of part of the old Glass-Steagall Act under a Republican Congress back in 1999 is the law that, among other things, separated commercial and investment banking. But by the 1990s, those were seen as unduly burdens and regulations in a modern economy. Former Senate Republican Senator Phil Grant sponsored a law that opened competition among commercial and investment banks as well as brokerage firms. Senator Harry Reid today took a shot at Graham, who is now a key economic advisor. Quote, this is the same Phil Graham who pushed through the legislation that now allows Wall Street traders to bid up the price of oil without oversight. What Reid fails to mention, however, is that he and 37 other Democratic senators voted in favor of the final version of Graham's bill to overturn Mr. Grass deal. It passed by a 90 to 8 margin in 1999 and was signed into law by President Clinton. Senator Hillary Clinton has canceled an appearance at a planned protest of Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad in New York today because Sarah Palin has also been asked to attend. Clinton officials said they would not be signed by the news, but she was also invited the Republican vice presidential nominee. 